Researchers have found unintended and unexpected frequencies originating from Starlink satellites. Joining us live is Curtin University radio astronomy professor Stephen Tingay. Stephen, really appreciate your time. Thank you. Just tell us a bit more about your research. It sounds like these satellites are making the lives of our radio astronomers a whole lot harder. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Um, we've been doing a lot of observations using radio telescopes to try and understand the impact of radio interference generated by those satellites on our ability to do radio astronomy. Um, and one of the things that we've found, which is pretty interesting, is that we can see a lot of Starlink satellites um, transmitting signals that are unintended and at frequencies that are not allocated to downlink communications from satellites. Okay, and this is happening everywhere, isn't it? Even in, in places that are, are barely populated. Uh, yeah, indeed. And in fact, that is sort of the point of Starlink is to provide fairly uniform global internet communications. So including to very remote regions. So that's sort of the point of Starlink and, and other similar constellations of satellites. Uh, but the consequence for astronomy is that there's really now no place on Earth that our telescopes can escape those signals. So that, that's a problem for astronomy. So can just explain for us a bit more about the scale and pace at which we've seen satellites populate our skies. It, it all seems to have happened pretty quickly. Yeah, I, I guess if I reflect on um, the last decade, it, it's really been a, a, a big step up in the last five years or so. Um, when, I, when I was a kid in the 1970s, it was something of an event to be outside at night and see a satellite passing overhead. Um, but if you go outside at night now, uh, you'll, you'll see satellites passing over pretty constantly. Uh, Starlink now has... Um, several thousand satellites in orbit and, and that's going to to grow substantially um, and the bigger picture in the future is that um, there are filings for the launch of in excess of a million satellites over the next decade or so um, so we're going to go from zero to thousands to potentially hundreds of thousands or even millions of satellites in the future Wow. Okay. But to clarify, I mean, they're not breaking any rules by planning that, are they? And in particular, Starlink, the, the big issue is perhaps a, a, a regulation one. Yeah. And that, that's really important to point out that as far as we can tell, for example, uh, SpaceX and Starlink satellites are not breaking any international regulatory rules. Um, the, the signals that we are seeing um, appear to be consistent with, with the uh, regulations. Nonetheless, um, they're a problem for doing astronomy. The, the regulatory uh, approach to communications, including between Earth and space, um, uh, the, the evolution of those regulations occur at an almost glacial pace. So I think we're in the situation where Technology is really running ahead of the ability for regulation to keep pace. Stephen Tingay, really appreciate you joining us with that research and bringing that to our attention. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.